Hi, welcome to the linuxin.com. In today's video, we are going to take you on a tour of IntelliJ IDEA IDE and we are going to share some tips and tricks with you so that you can use this IntelliJ IDEA with ease. So, this right here is a welcome screen that you can see after installing IntelliJ IDEA on your Linux. Here you have a list of projects. You can choose to open one of them. You can choose to delete one of them from the list. You can create a new project. You can import a project and also you can open up a project. Also, you can configure the settings, plugins and the settings as well. You can import settings and you can export settings, whatever you like. So right now, we can open any of these projects or we can create a new project. I would prefer to create a new project. We'll select Java from here and we have given the path of our you know, JDK. It is also being selected here and we hit next. So now, IntelliJ IDEA offers to create a project from template in which a class will automatically be generated and also a main method inside of that will automatically be generated and it will configure the program for you which means that you do not have to configure your project rather it will automatically be configured and you can just simply you know run it so from here the project name, let's keep it untitled to, we'll finish it and you can see that it has automatically generated a class for us and it has generated the method which is known as the main method and it has also created the package for us. So if you go here, you can see the structure of your project. This is the package named as com.company and this is the main class. So right here, you can see we can have a printout statement and we can just simply, you know, have hello world inside. We can run it and you can see it will run and show you the output right here. Okay. So this is a simple Java project. So this is the IDE and you can see we have main menu toolbar which is like, you know, it has option to create a new project. It has option to open a project. It has also the option uh, of opening the recent projects that you have created with this IDE and much more. You know, we have a lot of options. So then we have the added thing in which you can just simply copy, paste, delete and undo typing, things like that. So. The third window is very important. This is the view window in which you have a lot of options. For example, if, if I uncheck this, it will hide the toolbar, right? So now if, if I take that again, it, it shows the toolbar here, right? So if I go again and if I uncheck these tool buttons, you can see the project and the structure tool buttons, you know, are hidden now. If I take it again, they appear again. So now if I go here and if I uncheck this navigation bar, you can see the navigation bar is gone from here. So I'll go again, I will tick the navigation bar and it appears here. So, you know, in active text editor, you can, you know, show the number of lines so you can basically hide it. So you go here, you uncheck this and you can see there are no number of lines anymore. You can also hide these icons from here if you like. So you go to the view, you go to the active editor, you uncheck this show gutter icons and you can see the icon is gone. Okay, the both icons are gone basically. So you check in, you check it again and you check it again and these all icons and line numbers appear right here. So these are some code 
uh, you know code snippets that you can generate so from here right now you can see if you hit this uh, generate from here okay it will sort of you know let you generate automatic code snippets but right now you cannot generate one uh, you can only generate copy copyrights so for example we have here string variables two string variables named as name and private string form let's say okay so if i hit this code um, generate okay you can see i have a lot of options constructor getter setter and other options as well so th there is a shortcut to that as well you can see the alt insert is the you know shortcut to open this generate thing so right here if i hit alt insert you can see that these things will open up so for example if i create a constructor you know i select none so it creates an empty constructor and at max you know in java you can create only two constructors so i'll create the second constructor with both the arguments and then i can create getters and setters you can see that it is very simple alt insert getter and setter and i'll select both of the arguments or variables and you can see that constructors and getters and setters are generated automatically right so you can write it down and i'll write it down for you the first trick that we have done it is alt plus insert okay and it basically do nothing but generate for you generate the code snippets okay you can remember so okay so these were all the methods that we generated automatically so now we hit Control z and we go back and we have our main uh, you know method here and now we go to the next option which is refactor so in refactoring you can basically rename a method in all of the project you can rename a class you can rename a file name so let's rename a file name here this is main.java so let's do it like main double one java and we can refactor it so you can see that the file name has changed so the only thing that you need to do here that you just need to write the name of the class here and you're good to go but you can see that the configuration for this file is gone now so you go to the added configuration and instead of here com.company.main you write here the class name which is main11 okay so you get the suggestion you hit okay and you're good to go and now you can run your project and you can you know simply get on with it so the next thing is basically you can build your project building the project you know basically it, it means uh, the same as updating your project okay so you can use tools you know external tools internal tools whatever you like and you can also show and hide the windows of your project for example the uh, you know the window of your current project is open here so what you can do that you can basically close it right so you can open it up again by going here and double clicking so now uh, this is the navigation bar so what if you want to reach it right so for that what you will do that you will hit alt home and you can see that the, this becomes blue and if you hit escape you know the cursor goes back to the file you know if you hit alt home again it got selected and if you hit escape you know the selection goes away and the cursor comes back to main class so right here you can also write as old plus home okay so this is basically for you know going to navigation or okay so the next trick is to basically going into the other modes and which is like enter presentation mode you can enter it from here you know or you can directly 
go from here by pressing control plus back coat so if you press control plus back coat i'll tell you what a back coat is so control plus back coat this is this small tiny icon or a sign or corrector is basically the back coat okay it opens up options for you so um, I can show you uh, on the keyboard this one this little sign here this is a back coat and if you press control plus back coat it opens up options for you little options that I'll show you what you can do with so color scheme first of all the option which you can change to Dracula if you like but you know we do not like it we will like to keep it default so you know we we'll keep it this way again control plus back code you have code style scheme which is project which is default so we'll keep it default so again you have key map values for Mac for uh, for you know Visual Studio for default for Xwin you know for all other uh, you know platforms but we would like to keep it default as of Linux and Windows okay so the next thing that you can do here is that you can go to the view mode so if you want to enter presentation mode you will go it you know like this way I again hit control back code I go to the view mode and I exit presentation mode okay again I hit control and back code I go to the view mode I enter distraction free mode and it appears to be like this again I hit control back code I go to the view mode I exit this distraction free mode okay I hope you have got the point then you have the final thing you know look and feel you can go to the GTK plus okay it changes a little then you can go to the you know Dracula mode which you which was the earlier one which we have seen and simply you can go back to the IntelliJ which I would like to keep okay so that was the trick of the day and that is like control plus back code and opens up options in fact opens up a lot of viewing options okay so the final trick of today is related to the search so basically you can search anything that you like you hit control shift a and you can search method to string and date to string time to string and anything that you like okay any action or option name that you want to search so another trick that I will tell you to set a background image uh, but before that let me write down here that control plus shift plus a it basically opens up sort of search okay and in here you can search anything and everything that you like so I hit control shift a and I write here set background image okay and I will also show you how to set a background image right now for example we want to set a background image for our this IDE so we go here and we you know sort of try to have an image here okay so Linux profile yes so this is basically the logo of the Linux .com. it will appear in the background you, I can set the opacity from here if I like I can set you know different sort of things I can you know change it you know in this way in this way or anything but I would like to keep it default so I will come again control shift a set background image I'll go here I'll go to the downloads I will select the Linux profile PNG I will select this project only I'll hit OK and you can see that in the background the Linux hint logo appears I'll show you which image I have you know I have shown here it is this one the Linux profile PNG <laughs> yes this one okay so you can see that in the background you have this image okay so 
same like that you can do it so these were the tricks and uh, tour to the IntelliJ idea hope you have enjoyed it please subscribe to our channel uh, Linux Hint and for written articles visit our website linuxhint.com bye for now